family, friends. It is with a broad mixture of emotions that we gather to celebrate the full life of Dewanda Louise Rogers Childers. There are many things to grieve today. Jim's death was not very long ago, uh, and Michael's just over a year. And when grief gets stacked like this, it makes it even harder. Um, it's not just painful, but sometimes it can be overwhelming. And the support that you have provided each other already in the past will continue to be important to you as you move forward into the future. So I'm thankful that you are a close family and that you will um, continue to care for each other through this time. Whether the emotions are sadness or grief or gratitude or regret or peace, all of those emotions are allowed and invited. Sometimes they're all tangled up together, but I wanna encourage you to not feel any kind of shame for the way that you're feeling. Uh, this is a difficult death to deal with. Uh, someone that you've already been grieving because she hasn't been who she was for the last few years, um, but now this is an even uh, you know, a greater blow. And again, it's stacked. So um, just want you to know my support. You've got other people here who care about you and those who couldn't be here to care about you and support you as well. I encourage you to treat yourself with the same grace and love that Dewanda would have treated you. You heard only one of the um, three songs that were meaningful to the family that were played in here, Celebrate Me Home, was the last one. Just prior to that, some of you may have heard uh, Wind Beneath My Wings by Bette Midler. The f chorus for that is, did you ever know that you're my hero? You're everything I wish I could be. I could fly higher than an eagle, for you are the wind beneath my wings. That's a beautiful image. Uh, the wind beneath my wings describes a person with unusually beautiful and sacrificial and unconditional love. It's a person who lifts others, even though that means being lower and sometimes invisible. It's a person like Dewanda Childers. The wind beneath my wings is a person skilled at caring for people, even when that doesn't translate to caring for plants. The wind beneath my wings is a person who mothers her younger sister, making, she sure, making sure she had the right clothes and the right shoes. The wind beneath my wings is a person who bakes cookies for her children or grandchildren to share with their friends. The wind beneath my wings is a person who stands guard in the hallway for Gizmo the cat to do his business uninterrupted while having no idea that she's the interruption. The wind beneath my wings is a person with such depth of responsibility that people could leave their children or pets with Dewanda and go watch other activities with not one whit of worry. Dewanda shows us that Love is so much more than an emotion. Love is action. It's self-sacrifice. It's attitude. The Apostle Paul wrote, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. This godly love radiated through Dewanda and made the world a better place for everyone she encountered. It's the love that you will carry on because she has loved you well. One of two songs we'll hear during the service today is called Bittersweet by the Zac Brown Band. As you listen to this song, picture yourself on a boardwalk at the beach, drinking a toast to Dewanda, and recall the many ways that she showed God's amazing love to you.
Some of the amazing way Dewanda loved you may have been innate in her and other aspects formed over time. She was raised in the Church of the Brethren, which focuses on the love of Jesus and his work as a peacemaker. One way Dewanda kept the peace was by spoiling her first child, Michael. He got everything he wanted according to his sisters. She also kept the peace by agreeing to get Michael Fluffy the cat after he was not impressed by getting a sister. She not only kept the peace, but exhibited love for her grandchildren by purchasing a minivan when they came along. As they got older, she was very patient with them, loved being around them, helped them to feel her love as well. She would play the same game with a grandchild 50 times, losing every time. She didn't want them to lose because then they would be hurt, and when they hurt, she hurt too. A diminutive body, but a very large heart. She was compassionate without being suffocating. Another way she kept the peace was, was by making sure that her grandchildren never went hungry. When Brandy would say she's hungry, it wouldn't be long until her grandmother showed up with a bologna roll-up. Classic. And then once that was gone, ask, are you still hungry? Brandy reports she even made the best toast. And I suspect that part of the reason that she made the best toast was, and the reason it was so tasty and fulfilling, was because it was made with so much love. The grandchildren never wanted to leave grandmas or mamas to go home. And of course, it didn't hurt that Papa would take them out for ice cream or other treats three times a day or however many times they asked. <laughs> Dewanda was a person who worked hard to have it all. A 50-year marriage to her dance partner and her life partner, good relationships with extended family, children who loved and trusted her, co-workers and jobs that she enjoyed, and grandchildren she doted on and helped raise to become healthy adults. Love always hopes, always perseveres. And even though Dewanda gave away so much of herself, she didn't neglect her own social self and her own activities that she enjoyed doing. She and Jim used to bowl and swing dance they would enjoy time at the lake and the beach. They loved visiting Michael in Hawaii, experiencing the tagging of the turtles, luau's, and traveling in some of the more remote places that were off the beaten path for most tourists. At home after work, she and Jim would sit and drink coffee, more coffee and more coffee, and catch up on each other's work days. She would watch the nightly news and Wheel of Fortune Tuesday nights, her kids knew not to call or visit when she was watching NCIS. They knew she would not answer the phone or door even if they had. So she enjoyed that. She enjoyed reading her love stories. Some of the covers were so steamy, her daughters would turn over the books when their kids were visiting. <laughs> and when her eyes got bad, she missed reading. In the last few years, there were several meaningful events in Dewanda's life. One was the surprise 50th anniversary party that her kids threw for her in 2017. It was a joy for all of them to share that time together, um, to, to celebrate their love with so many families and family and members and friends over that memorable weekend of food and music and dancing and renewing relationships. Another joy for the family has been, was Dewanda's recent rally day of clarity and kisses and hugs that she imparted bountifully to her children and grandchildren, along with FaceTime conversations with her sister and daughter-in-law. This was such a gift to her, certainly, but especially to the family, that they could celebrate life with her in a new way again. 
Others will remember that Dewanda was one of the nicest women they have ever met, one person said. She was genuinely nice and sweet. It wasn't fake. That love from God is authentic. It radiated from her, it brightened the atmosphere around her, and therefore it brightened the people around her. We will miss that light in our world. And even though you have been grieving for a while, those feelings of loss will continue. They'll be hard, they'll hurt. And so you can reach back to those memories of comfort as well as the image that Ed Sheeran paints for us in the song, Supermarket Flowers. God has been waiting for Dewanda and now has welcomed her home. When you find yourself with questions that come and then hang in the air, unanswered or unanswerable, Keep in mind that you are not alone. You have each other. You have God. Centuries ago, a psalmist expressed the love and power of presence of God to be like a shepherd's. And this, these were the words of this person's song. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thy rod and thy staff are tools that are strange to us, but in the days of shepherds, they were tools of protection and guidance. And they remind us that we are safe from predators like anxiety and fear and regret. When these surface, again, remember you're not alone. It may not be easy to reach out, but it is possible. So I encourage you to open yourself to those who want to support you and help you through the seasons of grief and the seasons of life. Let others Share the burdens with you as you find hope together in memories of Dewanda. The family would like to thank all of you who have come for your presence today, for your love that you have shown to the family. I encourage you to continue to support each other as you tell stories about Dewanda. Whether you laugh or whether you cry or whether you do both at the same time, that's okay. That's a part of grieving. And that's a part of celebrating her meaningful life too. The world is darker, so now her love and her light can shine through you, today and always. May we pray together. Loving and gracious God, you are our refuge and our strength. In the times when this family feels alone, I pray that they will seek your presence and your embrace along with that of their family and friends. Hold them together as you meet them in their sorrow. Help them to feel your grace and hope so that their fears will be dispelled by your love, their loneliness eased by your presence, and their hope renewed by your promises. Lord of heaven and earth, we thank you for all who have finished this life loving and trusting you, for the examples of their lives, for the life and the grace that you gave them, for the peace in which they rest. We thank you for a reunion of Jim and Michael 
and Dewanda. And we thank you for the life of Dewanda and what her kindness and love have meant to this family and to so many others. As we seek your support and honor her memory, make us more aware that you are the one from whom comes every perfect gift, including the gift of life. Through Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Our service will conclude at Blue Ridge Memorial Gardens. <laughs>